Hello everyone, I'm Nico from Nunatak Adventures. I'm here in Kulusuk, our base in East Greenland. Today in this video I will show you crevasse rescue when the team is only two people. Hope you guys enjoy. The distance between the two people should be between 15 to 20 meters. In between this distance I'm gonna place three friction knots as well, which in this case are butterflies. As soon as the first person falls in, the steps to do are arresting the fall, build the snow anchor and transfer the load to the anchor. Building an anchor and holding the person's weight on your hips can be pretty tough, so try to do it as good as fast as possible. To do the snow anchor you need a shovel, a snow picket, a 120 cm link and a locking carabiner. Depending the snow quality you might decide to put the picket in the snow vertically or horizontally. In this case I place it horizontally with the sling coming out with a T-shape and a locking carabiner at the end of it ready to be transferred the load. It's a good habit to transfer to a Prusik. In the system that I show here could be also placed directly on a micro traction but as I said it's just a good habit. If my ratchet is not a micro traction but a Garda hitch or an ATC in guide mode then it's definitely needed that Prusik. Let's see what the next step is. Placing micro traction, I'll make sure that it's sliding towards my friend that I know is correctly placed. I'm gonna lock the carabiner and now I take my ice axe just ready for a self arrest and monitoring the anchor that it's solid. Once I'm sure, I'm just ready to be able to move. I take a Prusik I make a tree wrap Prusik around the rope coming out of the micro traction. Make a Y knot, take a strand and go it through my harness and close it off with the overhand on a bite. Right now I'm attached to the rope, we add the Prusik and an overhand. So now I can remove the overhand on a bite and be able to move along the line. Right now we assume that my rope length is not enough to do a drop loop rescue. So I'm just gonna stop here pretending that the end of the line is close to my backpack. The system starts with making a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. I have a ratchet in place which is the micro traction and now I add a T-block on the line but this could be also just a normal cordelette with a 3 rep Prusik. Right now I have a 3 to 1 in place. As I did before transfer the load to a Prusik, as soon as I pull a bit of the slack the load will be transferred to the micro traction which means I need to go to the anchor and remove that Prusik before it jams into the micro traction. After that it's just physical work, 3 to 1. Another challenge of doing direct pull system is that your friction knots, butterflies, are in the way or they cannot pass through your ratchet device. So right now I'm getting the knot closer and closer to micro traction by swapping the side of my T-block or my Prusik and I get it close as close as 10 centimeters. At this point I just want to stop and take more equipment to solve this problem. In this case I'm taking a 2 meter Prusik take one end of the cordelette and make a clovage attached to the same carabiner as the micro traction is. 
Making a clovage means I don't need to open the gate of the carabiner, so that's quite convenient. I just did a stopper knot at the end, making sure the clovage wouldn't move. To make things clean, I just remove the main line from the T-block carabiner and just go back and forth with my Prusy cordelette between the anchor and the T-block carabiner. As you see, I add another carabiner just to make things clean or less friction for this cordelette to go back and forth. With this cordelette, I just created a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage. So it should be easy to pull your friend those 10 centimeters up with your cordelette and just lock the progress with just a mule and an overhand on a bite. Right now, as you see, the blue line, the main line is loose and I can just undo the knot, the butterfly and take the slack in the system I can just remove the cordelette and put the load again on the micro traction. I keep this cordelette right there attached to the carabiner, ready to be used for the next friction knot. If your friend can help you by walking up with his crampons, this could be enough with a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. Alright guys, so in this part of the video you saw how to rescue somebody with a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. Sometimes it's too heavy to do it this way, so you might want to know how to make it 5 to 1. So let me show you this. It's very simple. You actually keep your same cordelette that was there to go over the knots. But this time you take the other end of it and you make overhand on a bite. To make the system finished, you just need a carabiner. Clipping it to the T-block carabiner. And at the end of this cordelette, you're just gonna clip the main line. So you created a 2 to 1 with your cordelette that is applied into the 3 to 1 that you had before, making it 5. With 5 to 1, you can definitely pull up your friend even if he's struggling with an overhang crevasse, let's say. A good point to remember is that you're working next to the anchor, not knowing how your friend is doing as you're pulling him up. And you might pull him on the cornice, on the overhang, so be in contact vocally if you cannot see him. Perfect! So now you know how to pull your friend up from a 3 to 1 into a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't fall into a crevasse, but if your friend does it, well then you know how to pull him up.